What is going on you guys and welcome back to another exciting video. In today's video I want to talk a little bit more about LumaFusion's new update, the LumaFusion 2.5. Five. Now we have an exact date for when this is scheduled to be released and we might see 10 new features this year amongst those are uh, speed ramping, ECS keyframes and audio equalizer. Now I recently watched this interview with um, Richard Taylor TV uh, where he was interviewing Terry and Chris. I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below and there is going to be something which is uh, paid in a purchase. So in the previous video, I was talking about editing from an external drive as well, and that this might be limited to the brand new iPads. Now this is confirmed that you can edit from an external drive using your older iPad as well. So external drive will be available for older iPads as well with USB type C, but this will most likely require a faster drive if you want a smooth scrubbing and playback experience. What Chris at Luma Touch recommended was a drive with a speed of at least 1050 megabytes per second. Now since I already talked about external drives we're gonna move over to the next feature that you can see in the update which is coming in June which is a resizable UI. What the resizable UI will do for you is basically to let you have more control over the interface and let you change the size of the timeline, the previous screen and source selection to have a more convenient workflow such as extending the size of your timeline when placing clips and editing videos and audio and this is uh, going to be very crucial for all of us which has a huge timeline a massive timeline where there's a lot of different overlays uh, video files multiple clips so you know it's just crowded and you've seen some of my um, timelines which is super crowded and just having to scroll up and down all the time to see go, you know go down to the audio and then back up to the video clips and then all the way up to uh, the uh, uh, overlays and then just continue to do that. Just having that resizable UI for me is going to be a huge game changer. Now moving over to the next big feature which is coming in June as well and this is what a lot of us has requested for a long time which is more control over the audio. So we will be getting audio equalizer and n-band equalizer with an interface where you can roll off your high ends and low ends. You can also do this during playback to hear the difference and adjust in real time. Time. This is going to be huge to get that dip uh, of the audio as well and just play around with the, the customization. I'm not really that much into uh, uh, to changing the different audio things and you know I'm not I'm, I'm not an audio guy. If it works for me, then I'm happy with it. So this is gonna be come more in handy for me because it's more user friendly. Uh, since I don't know that much about audio, just doing all those um, other different audio features, things basic we had before, it's, it was a pain for me. So uh, one of the, the things that I did was to simply acquire better microphones and invested in that to make my life a little bit easier. But this is going to, to make it a whole lot easier for my audio uh, editing in the future, I, I guess. So the final thing is something that you have been requested on my channel for, for some reason. Uh, for uh, I think two and a half years now, maybe three years. Uh, I think this was on one of my first first videos which I uploaded and this feature is stabilization. So we're finally getting stabilization this June confirmed by Terry and the plugin which they are adding to LumaFusion is from CoreMelt. Now CoreMelt is one of the biggest plugin providers for video and TV and are used by companies such as BBC News, Sony Pictures, Disney and Sky. But it's hard to explain how the stabilization plugin looks in action and how well it stabilizes. So let's take a look at the stabilization from CoreMelt itself and how their lock and load plugin stabilizes in Final Cut Pro.
So stabilization is a huge thing for a lot of us and instead of going over to different apps to stabilize the footage, for them to bring the rendered file back to LumaFusion and for every render you do, you're gonna lose a bit of, uh, of the quality. And uh, this is this is about it's about time that we get the stabilization and since this is made by core melt I am sure this is gonna be insane it's gonna be so good and if you go over to core melts website down in the description below you can check out their preview of the settings and and system and how it works there because from the picture which you can see here it looks fairly similar inside of uh, LumaFusion uh, from what the uh, plugin looks like in Final Cut as well. Now, that's the features which is coming in June. Now, there's gonna be more features rolling out this year as well. Some might take a little bit longer and might be delayed uh, throughout uh, maybe early 2022, but some of the next features which is coming uh, this year, which is sort of guaranteed to come this year, is multicam editing, scopes, and easy ease keyframes. However, this is not gonna be free. This is gonna be an in app purchase. The price is not set uh, at this time. I will predict that this is gonna cost uh, maybe maybe $19.99 or $20 and this is gonna be a one-time purchase. If you ask me, I think it's about time that they actually, you know, charge a little bit more for the amount of effort that they put into creating the world's best editing app. At this point, it is the best editing app on uh, the iOS, iPad and iPhone and it's a one-time purchase. There's no subscription. So again, I think it's time for them to take a little bit of, uh, you know, cash for their, for their work that they are putting into creating such an amazing app as well. Now, let's go over the multicam editing uh, and let's take a look at how it works in reality so you can, you can see what you can expect for uh, this uh, this pack. Since this is a paid pack, I would like to go through uh, some of the different things, which is also shown in the interview. So if you wanna check out the entire interview, it's down in the description below, but I'm gonna break it down to, um, to a shorter sequence. So using the multicam editing feature, you would just select the clips that you want to use, uh, then choose create, and all the clips will be transferred over to your timeline with different colors on the camera playback section. You can here preview all the selected clips and do a playback of the entire timeline. As different sync modes, it appears that you can change between automatic, timecode, audio, and manual. When all clips are synced, you select create and create your multicam clip by selecting insert and open switcher. Here you'll see some sort of a, a compound or nested clip like we see in Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. So the way that this seems to work is that you do a playback of your multicam project, then you just tap on the selected videos in your camera section, which will cut and color the videos and layers. The multicam editing will also support up to 12 cameras or 12 clips for those being limited to one or two cameras. You can also go back into the nested clip and adjust the different cameras or clips later, uh, like changing the order of them and doing separate color gradings and separate add separate effects to them. So multicam editing is uh, something that I'm also looking forward to uh, because you can make sort of, you don't have to have 12 clips, you can have two clips, three clips, and this makes it really easy if you film from different angles. Let's say I have this camera here right now and I have another one next to me, then I can take just both of the files into LumaFusion and I can just tap whenever I want to change the camera. Now, another thing which is in this paid pack is video scopes, which is a little bit of a bummer. I was actually hoping that this would roll out uh, soon so we could, uh, you know, get to test it out maybe for free but I like I said I understand why they uh, do it and I honestly believe that they should as well so this is something that I really look forward to and let's talk a little bit about what you can expect from the scope section now with the scopes you will also be able to resize the scopes within the color and effect section so it's easier to see and get more accurate color correction and grading the scopes which are shown are histogram waveform and vector scope 
These will also be editable, so you can choose the whole area as a vector scope, waveform, or histogram. You might also be able to select two out of three if you only want vector scope and waveform to be shown on your screen. The video scopes will also have a live preview so when you are doing a playback you can see the changes in the scopes which is very nice to to have because once you are done with the clip the color correction and grading you can see if any parts of the clips are peaking and then you can just watch the scopes that you have available there to see if any colors are peaking or the uh, midtones highlights or shadows are dropping and it's it's going to be super useful now one of the most requested features is also ECE's keyframes. Now, this is also included in the paid pack, so let's take a look at how this works. Now, with the ECE's keyframing, you will be able to see a line with the direction of where the clips are moving. You can select whether you want these keyframes to be linear or curved. With linear, you will have that static movement from one keyframe to another. Changing this to curve, you will be able to drag out the curves of each keyframe and create a smooth motion from fast to slow or slow to fast. You can also make custom presets by saving the keyframe animation, which is opening up a whole new world for all of you out there. You can create your animation with ECE's keyframes. You can save it by tapping on the star and then just name it whatever you want to name it. When you have a new clip which you want to apply the same effect to, then you can just tap on the star on the top right corner and then you can just select the preset with the ECE's keyframing and apply that to that clip and it will have the same animation. So that's also a huge thing for the upcoming features of ECE's keyframing and something that I'm really, really looking forward to. Now there's going to be one more pack which is most likely going to be in a purchase as well. And this will contain subtitling SRT files so you can have subtitles to your video and you can choose whether to burn it into the video. Uh, so when you upload the video to uh, YouTube, for example, you will have the subtitle in the video and it cannot be removed or you can choose to have it as a separate upload file and uh, and so on but the main thing or the major feature which is in this pack is speed ramping so speed wrapping might come this year uh, closer to the end of the year if is my prediction uh, hopefully this year and it might like I said delay over to 2022. I would rather have them to, you know, make it perfect rather than rushing it out and then they have to bring it back and do a lot of bug fixes and all of that. So it's better that they take the time to make something which is better than every single other different app that you find out there, which is basically doing a speed ramp uh, frame by frame and just putting a couple of frames together with one speed and, and so on. LumaTouch is uh, just reinventing this, making it a whole lot smoother, uh, I assume, than what you find in the other apps in App Store. So that's basically all the, the things which I took from this interview as well. Uh, again, head over to Richard Taylor's TV's channel. Make sure to subscribe to him as well. And the whole interview is down in the description below just in case you want to check that out as well. Let me know in the comment section below which of the features are your favorite. I said this in the previous video as well where we have three features. Now we have even more features. So which is your favorite feature? Comment down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And I see you guys in the next video.